NVMet plugin for Sketchup tutorial. Select the workplace folder where NVMet SKP projects are saved. It is a good idea to save the Sketchup file in the same folder as where NVMet saves INX and SIMX files. NVMet INX uses the Sketchup location to create an NVMet location. In particular, it reads latitude, longitude, location name, and time zone from SketchUp. So you can set it up now, or you can do it later with NVMet spaces. By clicking the small icon in the bottom left hand corner, you can select the location for your site. Type the location you want and import the static map with the location information. The first entity you should create is the grid. You could do it later, but by already having it on the canvas, it allows you to use the grid snap for drawing. You need to pick two extreme points on the canvas and follow the instructions in the VBC at the bottom. The last step is the prompt that asks you for more information such as cell size, number of Z cells, and north orientation. There are three types of grid, equidistant grid, telescopic grid, and combined grid, where the first cell is split and the rest follow the telescopic approach. For more information, see NVMet definitions. Bear in mind that you can create more than one grid. For example, this feature could help you during the calibration phase or with large models. Building entities. You can easily design buildings from scratch using SketchUp tools. A building entity is made by using geometry and properties. The properties are saved in a SketchUp group. You can set up standard materials using the value lists or custom materials using the freeform text. A custom material is composed of six digits that should match the ones you save using NVMet DB Manager for your NVMet project. Use the inspector to look at the materials you have applied and use search by to easily get entities in the NVMet inspector. You can also use architectural drawings to create SKP NVMet entities. For example, you can import a model from the 3D warehouse or models that come from other SKP plugins. Ray tracing is done automatically and the NVMet information is saved in a SketchUp group once the creation is completed. Soil entities. Soil entities are created using the same method as for building entities. You can use existing geometries or you can create them from scratch. The principle is the same. An entity is made using geometry and properties which are then saved in an SKP group. You can use snaps for easy drawing. It can give you a sense of what you will get at the end when the INX is exported. 3D plants. 3D plants are created using SKP components. Select the components which best represent the trees you want. It is easy to place multiple trees on the canvas because of the many options you have for duplicating an item using SketchUp. Additionally, there are plugins that allow you to directly import trees as components. Once you have added your components, you can select them and the method is the same as for the other entities. The material is applied to your selection and then saved in a SketchUp group. Receptors Receptors are created using SKP components. Select the components 
that best represent the receptors you want, such as people. Receptors must have a unique name. A warning will advise you if a name has already been used. You can add one receptor at a time. Terrain or Digital Elevation Model Terrains are composed by using one or more geometries. The elevation of the terrain is represented using meshes. You can import an existing terrain, for example an SKP terrain you get for free when you add a location, or you can create it from scratch, or you can do both. The ray tracing is from top to bottom. Bear in mind that the modeling logic is the same as for NVMet spaces. All entities, except terrain, should stay on the world XY plane. NVMet will project the object onto the DEM, if it exists, during the calculation phase. Editing materials. There are a series of commands for editing materials. Just select the object to be edited and click on the command. The prompt lets you override the NVMet properties of the selected group for groups. The ID remains the same, but the materials are updated. In addition to this feature, you can always use the undo redo buttons during the modeling phase. Deleting NVMet entities. This is a plus feature. You can delete NVMet properties from a group. It won't delete the geometry which remains in the SKP model. It only cleans the NVMet properties in the group and in the group that contained the NVMet geometries. Remember that you can always use SketchUp Undo Redo during the modeling phase. Saving the INX file. The INX model can be exported whenever you want. Usually, this is only done to check the quality of the ongoing model or to get the final results. You can query NVMet entities using the inspector, the selector, or just the selection. Open the inspector once and investigate the groups. It is best to save the files in the following order. 1. Save the SKP file in the project folder in the current workspace. 2. Export the INX model. 3. Check the INX model with NVMet spaces and edit if necessary.